Greetings all. I trust that you are having a great day and a wonderful or a wonderful evening wherever you are in the world. Nice to be with you again for our weekly little chat. My name is Honorable Moses Musa Jabatis, Parliamentary Representative for Beaufort North and former Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Production, Cooperatives and Rural Development on the island of St. Lucia. I want to congratulate all mothers in Viewfort North who recently had wonderful babies over the last two weeks. I also want to extend my condolences to all families who recently lost loved ones. I pray that God continues to give you peace and strength as you grieve. My prayers are with you. I want to say well done to all of our students who just received their CXC results. I understand that there is exciting news, but a little more of that later. I want to congratulate the president, Mr. Anthony Samuel and his executive, and that is the president of the newly re-established Peru Development Committee. I have pledged my support to this development committee. And as I've said before, it is another step in the direction of achieving that vision that I always had of Viewfort North being a vibrant constituency with dynamic leadership, entrepreneurial spirit, with a great sporting culture and well-organized groups. If we continue in that direction, we will be just great. I want to say that our football team, I was told, is back in the Black Hat competition. I wish them well. And the comes have fet lawas say lots of men. Vive lawas! By two Jean Lawas, view for North. Jean Lawas, qui a group lawas, Bellevue. Avec Jean Lawas, qui a group lawas, Blacha. I know that you are excited. Because Laros brings our community together. It has done so for many, many years. And I wish you well and hope that everything goes just as planned. Remember I told you a little about our history the last time. And I want to continue. Did you know that Vevercel, Adam Munkadi Vevercel, we say Vevercel, is a community in Bellevue that was established after the 1980 hurricane, Hurricane Allen, it was so destructive. Some people died in St. Lucia, but many communities were destroyed, including communities in Viewfort North. The communities of Lespeos in Palmis and some of the Fonjoye people, their homes were destroyed. They were, we had landslides and a lot of people lost their belongings and property. The then parliamentary representative, Honorable Cecil Lee, with the government of the St. Lucia Labour Party, established the Vevercel community of Vevercel on Crown lands in order to protect our people from future disasters. Did you also know that there was no road from Piero to Bellevue until relatively recently? And did you know that the road from the south to Castries actually passed through Viewfort North? From Larry Twet, from Viewfort to Larry Twet to Hope Estate, onto Joye, and then up the hill to Bellevue, through the Dimae community to Deriso and then to the East Coast. Because as a la chimere, pour y castui truck, c'est la truck te ka passe, pour un chai, un chai ta. A lot of history there. And a number of the drivers, some of them are getting older now, who worked from Viewfort to Piero and from Viewfort to Castries on those roads, are still alive today. Some of them are people like Mr. Michael Tobier, Mr. Mike Tobier from Piero, Mr. Baptiste 
from Kakovigi. I'm sure you know Mr. Downey from Greece. And also you may not know that on the former Honorable Cecil Lee is also one of these drivers who gave dedicated service to the people of the South and Viewfort North. History there for you. Upon least twelve, there is more to come. Over the last two to three weeks, we also had a situation in Viewfort North where the drivers of Bellevue and Piro recommenced the service that was stopped for a couple of days. And the information that I have is that the ministry is in discussion with the drivers to help deal with some of the issues that the drivers have. I also want to say to you that as parliamentary representative, I continue to urge the ministry to give Viewfort North the benefit of the extra tax dollars in particular that we are being charged and continue our road rehabilitation projects, road maintenance projects, and road repair projects. I'm hoping for the best. Mo hope gouvernement kai tweete nou manye tout lot set lisye bwizen treatment. I want to spend the next few minutes on health care in St. Lucia. When the UWP came into office, they stopped the St. Jude Hospital project. The Labour Party explained and explained the processes that were being followed to complete the St. Jude Hospital project. Nous avons travaillé à l'époque de l'hôpital St. Jude et nous avons expliqué avant l'élection. Le UWP vini, yo avez doubout pour l'hôpital. À présent, yo avez ouvert kai mois. The morgue has been opened and the work on the hospital, which was almost completed with the major buildings and the major infrastructure components completed. We are yet to receive the report formally of what the investigation showed into what the government deemed was corruption. Also, we are learning that the government wants to privatize the Owen King EU hospital. Est-ce que d'accord pour gouvernement mettez privé go l'hôpital Castria Owen King? What about the dialysis machines? Est-ce que pas qu'à moi encore parce qu'il n'y a pas qu'à jouer dialysis? And that is something that the UWP spoke about. They said we had dialysis machines in containers. What is happening to those machines and all of the people who need dialysis? Why are so many people who are challenged and also children who are challenged not receiving the services that Dr. Bird used to provide. There is a new doctor, we were told, but we don't have the details. We know we all need health care. We do not have leadership in health care in our country today. Where is the Minister for Health? Mary Isaac Kapali Aleyayen. And we want to ask our people, is that what you voted for? To end, I wish to say to you that we continue to be concerned that our officials in Viewfort North and in other parts of St. Lucia will be paying over $10,000 more for gas because of the new gas tax. The taxi drivers, the bus drivers, in Viewfort North, will be paid, the bus drivers will spend over $4,000 more in gas taxes. And those who have your cars will be spending close to $2,000 more. The farmers with the FAR vans, you will be spending over $3,000 more in gas tax simply because of the new charges the government put on gas. I want to wish you well and tell you that I will continue to do the best that I can to fight for you and your cause in Viewfort North. I wish you well, and I say to you, over the next week or two, do the best that you can to join a community group. Help your church. Help your community so that we can continue to create a constituency which is a wonderful place to live and to work. Start a small business. Employ at least one person. You can do that. And I am sure we will continue to work together 
with the development committees. I understand the Grace Development Committee will be elected in the coming days. Join the committee and provide your service to your constituency. I thank you again for your service. I thank you for allowing me to serve. Thank you very much. May God bless you. All the best.